other than you, everything is false. So we cannot say that nothingness, that nothing exists, everything is false. No, other than you, everything is false. If you place your hopes, if you attach yourself to the false, you will become the false. If you attach yourself to truth and live in the will of the truth, you become truth. Off of the feet of those sadhus that are connecting to the truth, that have found the truth. What do I want? I want the dust of their feet. And what do I want to do? I want to take it physically and put it onto my matha. And I also want to take the dust of their feet, the blessings that they are going to give me. And I also want to take those blessings and enshrine them inside of my heart. Give me this blessing. Give me this donation. This is what I ask for, not for anything false in the world. If I receive it, I put it to my forehead. Don't connect to the false. Once you do that seva, you will fall at their feet. And based on this, all of your pops will go. Sri Vaheguru Sahib Ji Sach Saho Hamara Tuntani Sab Jagat Vanjara Ram Raje Sab Pande Tudai Sajaya Vich Vast Har Thara Jho Paav Hai Pande Vich Vast Sa Nikal Hai Kya Koi Kare Vichara Jan Nanak Ko Har Bakshaya हर पगत पंडारा सलोक महला पहला कूड़ राजा कूड़ परजा कूड़ सब संसार कूड़ मंडप कूड़ माड़ी कूड़ बैसन हार कूड़ सोयना कूड़ रुपा कूड़ पैनन हार कूड़ काया कूड़ कपड़ कूड़ रूप अपार कूड़ मिया कूड़ बीबी खप होए खार कूड़ कूड़े नेहो लगा विसरिया करतार किस नाल की चे दोस्ती सब जग चलन हार कूड़ मिठा कूड़ माखियो कूड़ डोबे पूर नानक बखाने बेनती तुद बाज कूड़ो कूड़ महला पहला सच ता पर जानिए जा हृदय सच्चा होए कूड़ की मल उतरे तन करे हच्छा तोए सच ता पर जानिए जा सच तरे प्यार नाव सुन मन रहसिए त पाए मोख द्वार सच ता पर जानिए जा जुगत जाने जियो धरत काया साध के विच दे करता बियो सच ता पर जानी है जा सिख सची ले दया जाने जी की किछ पुन दान करे सच ता पर जानी है जा आत्म तीरथ करे निवास सत गुरु नो पुछ के बह रह करे निवास सच सब ना होए दारू पाप कड्डे तोए नानक बखाने बेनती जिन सच पल्ले होए पौड़ी दान महिंडा तली खाक जे मिले त मस्तक लाईए कूड़ा लालच छड्डीए होए एक मन अलख ते आईए फल ते वे हो पाईए जे वे ही कार कमाईए जे होवे पूर्व लिखिया ता तूड़ तिना दी पाईए मत थोड़ी सेव गवाईए जे होवे पूर्व लिखिया ता तोड़ तिना दी पाई है मत थोड़ी सेव गवाई है जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह गुरु प्यारी साध संगत जी many times in our life we ask this question and we say how do we become truthful how can we connect to that truth we try to attain many things in this world but what we end up doing as we end up connecting to something false. In these saloks and body of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Sache Pacha, the tenth body of Sri Asa Jidivar, Sache Pacha is explaining to us that sometimes in this life we have great opportunities. The entire world that everything everybody is trying to connect to, that is all false. But then there are certain things, certain qualities of those that are truth, 
that are merged with the truth, that attain the truth. Those that have attained the truth. And the truth is that when we do their Sangat, when we sit in the Sangat of those great saints and sadhus, blessed Gursikhs, who have attained this truth and have become the form of the truth, we gain lots in our life as well. Our life can be fulfilled with this, their Sangat as well. But sometimes we don't have the right intellect and we start questioning these saints. We start going into doubt and using our falseness, our false mind, and start questioning the truth. And the opportunities of seva that we have in this world, we lose them. And sometimes the only way to remove this type of mal, this filth from our mind, is by doing seva in the sangat of those sadhus, doing seva of those gursiks as well. So, Pyareo, here, Guru Ram Das Yisachi Pacha explains to us at the beginning, just like the Shabads that are meant to be sung with the sloks and parting of Shriya Sajidivar. Sachi Pacha explains, Sach saho hamara tuntarni, sab jagat van jara Ram Raji, that in this world there is one true banker, the true Shahukar. You are the king of this world, you are the master of this world, oh my Guru. This entire world, this is like one economy. Just like somebody speaks in business, there are many different departments. Everybody is doing their own little task. Some people are buying, some people are selling. This game is just about money that comes in, money that goes. People invest, they grow their money, some people spend their money. They do all of these great things. This entire monopoly board that's created, this entire universe, this game, who is running this game? Sache Pache, it is you that runs this game. Sache Sauho Mara Tuntani. Everybody is just merchants. Everybody is just somebody that's a character playing in this game. But you are great. You are the master of this world. You are the master of this game. And what is this game? What is this universe? Sache Pacha, you are the one that has created this universe. Sab pande tudde sajya vich vast har thara You created all beings, all vessels. Pande meaning a bowl or a dish. We are like this, these pande. We contain something. We are just a vessel. But inside of us, there's something which is truth. Sache Pacha, you are sitting inside of us. You are sitting inside of this mind. You are sitting inside of this heart. You are sitting inside of every cell in this entire universe. Sache Pacha, which vast har thara. And while residing in this, you are the one that makes us do all of these actions. Just like we read in the first body. You sit inside of this creation of, that you've created, all of us vessels. These are just clay pots. These are just clay puppets. We are just clay pots which you are making us work. You are the master of this, of this entire game. But now you put certain items inside of these vastus, inside of these vessels. You fill them. In some, you fill them with truth and love and you fill them with your amrit, ras. But some you fill with filth. Some are filled with krod, anger, lust, attachment. They're filled with ego. Sachi Pacha, whatever you fill us with, that is what comes out. Jo pave pande vich vast sa nikla Whatever you give to us, whatever seeds you plant inside of our mind and inside of our life, that is it, what comes out. Just like there's a monopoly board, there are certain cards that are drawn. Sache Pacha, you are the one that gives us these cards. You tell us what to do. You are the one that pulls us these characters in the right direction. You will give us the money that we are going to obtain. We lose the money we are meant to, be, meant to obtain. But sometimes we attach ourselves to the things that come to us and the things that go. We attach ourselves to this false. Anything that comes and goes is false. But, Pyareo, Kya koi kare vichara? What can we do? We can't control any of this. Pyareo, this is all within your own hands. Live in the pana. This is how you become truthful. Jo paave pande vich vast sa nikla hai Kya koi kare vichara? Jan nanak ko har bakseya Har pagat pandara you fill these things, these vessels, 
and whatever you place inside of them, that is what we obtain. What can somebody else do? Because this is only through your bakshish. Only through your blessings, we obtain this pandar of true wealth. Jan Nanak ko har bakshya akalpurk pramatma is the one that blesses in Guru Nanak Dev Ji. The form of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Guru Ram Das Ji here is saying, that Akalpurk has blessed me and inside of my heart, my Pagati Da Pandara. I've been filled with this devotional worship. I've been blessed with this Pagati. I've been blessed with your Satcha Naam, your true wealth. Mera Pandar Pariyagya. With your true treasure, I've been fulfilled and my entire life has been, been fulfilled. You are the one that controls us. You are truth. You bless us with the truth. So, Papiario, in this world, many people attach ourselves, themselves to falsehood. When Guru Nanak Dev Ji Satya Pacha traveled from, from Sultanpur and they traveled to Rai Poheki Talwandi, which is current day Nanakana Sahib, the place where Guru Nanak Dev Ji Satya Pacha came into this world. Rai Bular was somebody who was the lord of that area. He was like the king of that area. He was rich. He had palaces. He had many, many people looking to him. He was the government of that area, of that town, of that city. Rai Bular is somebody who was a very great devotee of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Rai Bular is one of those first ever Gursikhs that realized that this Baal, this Bacha Guru Nanak is not an ordinary child. They are the form of a Kalpurk. They were the person that, one of the first few people that went to Mehta Kalyan Das Ji, the father of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and tried to explain to them that your son is not an ordinary child. There's something unique. There's something different. There's something divine about your child. This Rai Bular is waiting for the darshan. He's calling out to Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Hey Satya Pacha, come home. Come to this city and bless us with your darshan. When he hears Satya Pacha has arrived, he takes Guru Nanak Dev Ji, says a Bainti, Please, I want your pavitar charan, your blessed feet. I want the turi, the dust of your feet to come into my house. I want them to come into my palace. My entire palace will be blessed. Guru Nanak Dev Ji hears their request coming out with such love. So they travel to the Rai, Pul Rai Bular's Mahal. They go into this palace. They go into this great court. And when they sit down, Guru Nanak Dev Ji is placed on the throne. Rai Bular is sitting on the ground and they say this Bhinti. They make this request, Hey Guru Nanak Dev Ji, the form of God, I'm so blessed to have your darshan. But there are many, many doubts inside of my mind. That my doubt is this. That I get full of ego very, very fast. My ego and my pride is this, that look, I'm a king. I'm a lord of this area. I am a king. I have a palace. I have money. I have thrones. I have many, many people worshipping me. I have all of these things that the people are trying to attain. And I grow my ego out of this. How can I get rid of this ego? Satya Pacha, please explain to me. How can this falsehood be dispelled? And Guru Nanak Dev Ji Satya Pacha, in front of Rai Bula, they say these bachans. They say, Kood Raja, Kood Parja, Kood Sab Sansar, Kood Mandap, Kood Maadi, Kood Basan Har. They say that, look, all the kings in this world, they've all been false. Since the beginning of time until now, Ram Gayo, Ravan Gayo, even the Rams and the Krishans, even the Ravans, the great battles, everybody speaks about Ramayan. They speak about this great battle between Ram and Ravan. They praise Ravan, some praise Ram. And look at them. He had created, took and taken over all of Lanka. Uh, their entire city was made of gold. Ram went back. Everybody praised Ram for eternities, for many, many yugs. But even the thrones that Ram sat on, even the thrones that, that Ravan sat on, their great armies eventually came to an end. Their thrones came to an end. Eventually their rule came to an end as well. So those things that do not remain forever, those are false. Your buildings, your houses, your cars, your wealth, your bank accounts, your businesses, your families, Everything changes over time, even your own body. Kood kaya, kood kapad. Even your own body, your own thoughts, your own intellect. This all changes over time. Anything that changes is false. 
Because at one point it was true, but then at another point it is not true. So then how can it be forever true? Because it changed, it is not true anymore. Something that is forever true since the beginning of time, throughout all of the ages, even now and until the end of time, even beyond time, what will always remain true? Ah, the such, jugad such, happy such, nanak hosi pi such. We read this, Sache Pacha Guru Nanak Dev Ji explains the three calls. The three times, the past tense, the present tense, and the future tense. But what has been true since all of these three times? What is beyond time? If something is true during all of these times, that it means it must be true beyond time as well. Sachi Pacha, only the Paramatma, Akal Purk, the Ekuankar will always be true. When Guru Nanak Dev Ji explains, Ik Oankar, the one Paramatma, which is beyond all of Sujati Vijati Swagat Ped, which is beyond all differences and all duality, and is in the form of this Srishti, the next word that they add on is Sat Nam, Sat Truth, which is forever truth, that form of Paramatma. Pyaryo, this entire Shabbat here. All these sloks and Pardiyan, they explain to us Jeev te Ishwar diya pedata They explain how the Jeev, the separated beings and the form of Akalpurk, the Ishwar that you see all around you How is that one? How can we be becoming the form of truth which is this entire creation? Because when it goes into falsehood it goes into a state of separation and it goes into this falsehood, good which we speak about because earlier in Siri Asadi Divar, we spoke about Sache Tere Khand, Sache Brahmand, Sache Tere Lo, Sache Akar, Sache Tere Karane, Sarb Bichar. Pyaru, in that entire slok, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Sache Pacha is explaining that all of the Khand Brahmand, everything that you see, all of the Akar, all of the forms, all of the created beings, they're all truth. They're all true. Why? Because Akalapurk. Is working through them. They are the creation of Akalpurk, and if something is created in Akalpurk is residing in it, then it is forever true. But Pyare, when somebody forgets Akalpurk, then anything that doesn't have contemplation of Akalpurk's name, which Akalpurk is not remembered in, for us separated beings, that is falsehood. So these Kud Raja, Kud Parja, Pyaru, this is speaking through our intellect. The Kud, the Satche Tere Khand, Satche Brahmand, that is speaking through the Avasta, the state of mind of a Brahmgyani. Somebody who is enlightened, somebody who is speaking. But now Rai Bular is saying that I am in doubt. Please alleviate my doubt. And Guru Nanak Devji is, is explaining that look, the thing that you see to be truth, your kingdom, you being a king, your palaces, all of this is false. Because you have not contemplated Nam, the Mool Pangti which we must look, look at in this entire Shabbat is Nanak of Akhanai Benati Tud Baj Kudo Kud. That is the root line, root Pangti. That other than you, everything is false. So we cannot say that nothingness, that nothing exists, everything is false. No. Other than you, everything is false. The reality is there may be a hundred of you sitting in a room. There may be a thousand of you sitting in a room. There may be seven billion people in this entire world. The reality is there's not seven billion, there's only one. Because other than you, everything is false. All of our differences, all our identities, they're all false. It's falsehood upon falsehood. But look at the intellect that we see everything as. We praise politicians, we play, praise celebrities, we praise those that become popular, we praise the kings, the masters, the rich, wealthy people of this world. We praise the kings and queens that happened throughout history and maybe the kings of, and queens of today. Pyaryo, the reality is, Kood Raja, Kood Parja, even those people that are following these kings and queens, those people that are living according to the laws, the laws that the kings create, they're all false as well. The people that follow those laws, those laws and those people following it, they're false as well. Parja, those people that pay taxes to the king, them paying taxes, that is all false as well. You have the sankar, you are a king. Yes, asan ham bate, kete bas gaya. The throne that you sit on today, 
Many have sat on that throne. Many have become kings and queens of England. Many have, have become the presidents and prime ministers of US and Canada. Many have become the prime minister of India and the presidents of Pakistan. Or whether it be Saudi Arabia, whether it be Africa, whether it be Australia, it doesn't matter what country. Everybody in this world wants to become the king of the world. Everybody wants to take over the world. They want a monopoly. Who, if somebody had a wish, every child that you speak to, they say, what do you want to do when you grow up? And in their innocence, they say, I want to take over the world. This is something that gets ingrained inside of our mind. We want to take over the economy of this certain industry. We want to have a monopoly over my business. How great would it be if I was a leader in technology, if I ruled that? How would it, great would it be if I ruled this certain type of clothing line or this certain new trend? I will be the king of fashion. I will be the king of pop. I will be the king of technology. I will be the king of this and forth. All of these rules, all of this parvav that you give on people, that control that you have, that control is false as well. You control this body even with your mind. Your mind controlling this body, even that is false. If we look into the depths of this shibat, not just the akriyat. Pyaro, these parja, these indri of yours, they follow what your mind says. Your mind is the king of your body, but even these indri and this body of yours, what your hands do, what your tongue speaks, what your eyes see, that is all false. Your mind, the king of it, that is all false as well. Everything that else follows, if that is all false, your mind and your body is all false, everything that you see in this world is also false. Kood Raja, Kood Parja, Kood Sabsansar, everybody in this world, this is not a creation. To the Baj Kood Kood, if you don't see Paramatma, other than a Kalpurk, it is all false, Pyaryo. There is a Kalpurk, which is within time, throughout true, without through the ages, and is true beyond the time as well. Is beyond inside, is in, truth inside of creation and true outside of creation. But this creation in itself, the actual just physical aspect of it, that is not false. That is not true. Why? Because this is the form of Maya. Maya is in the form of Rajo Tamo Sato. It changes and it comes. It goes into all of these things. But what is true throughout that is the Chetan Pramatma. Your mind changes. Your body changes. Yes, you are true. But not your mind. The awareness, the light, the Shakti, Akalpurk that is working through all of that. Sabmai Jyot, Jyot hai soi, tista hai chanan, sabmai chanan hoi. That light is inside of everybody. But only through the Guru's teachings do you actually understand that. Guru Saki Jyot Pargat hoi. Pyaryo, this is what Satche Pacha is saying that when you enshrine Naam inside of your heart, all of this falsehood dispels. But the things that you see, whether it be this camera, whether it be these clothes that I'm wearing, whether it be the TV screen or the computer screen or the phone screen you're looking at, the physical aspect is false. You, your eyes that are seeing it, that is false. Kood Raja, Kood Parja, Kood Sabsansar, Kood Mandap, Kood Madi, Kood Basanhar, then Rai Bular is being told by Guru Nanak Dev Ji, that look, even the palaces, Mandap means palaces, that is all false. We read in Gurbani, the very first Shabd of Siri Rag, they say, Look at this. What is the purpose of looking upon those palaces if we don't see the truth behind it? You could look through Khand Brahmand. If you see the truth behind us, but if you don't, then is Kood Mandap Kood Madi. The palaces which you are going and you forget Paramatma, that is false. You looking at the world, that is all false. It is falsehood. Kur Mandap, Kur Madi. These are all of these things are an illusion. Even the small houses that you rule over, the palaces, I, but then there are many, many other houses, Haveliya. All of them, all of these bricks that are stacked upon, up and up and up, they're all false. This is all an illusion that you see. Kur Basan Har, even those that are living inside of the palaces, living inside of the homes. The houses are false. Those living inside of the homes are false. Your house is false. And the person living inside of it is false. Your house of this body is false. And the person that this little intellect that has these little opinions and thoughts, that is false as well. Kood soina, 
कूड रूपा कूड पेन एंड हार सोइना मीन इज गोल्ड रूपा मीन सिल्वर एंड पेन एंड हार इज द पर्सन दैट वेयर दिस गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर प्यारियो इफ यू फॉरगेट अकाल पुरख इफ यू आर डूइंग एनी एक्शन इवन इफ यू वेयर सर्टन थिंग्स इन विच यू फॉरगेट अकाल पुरख दैट इज एन अल्यूजन दैट इज ऑल फॉल्स यू चेस गोल्ड यू चेस सिल्वर यू वॉन्ट अ वेयर ज्वेलरी यू वॉन्ट अ डेकोरेट यूर बॉडी यू वॉन्ट अ वेयर इयरिंग्स All of this is false. Kud soina, kud rupa, kud pen and har. This is all false. If you forget Pramatma, what is the purpose of you wearing earrings and nose rings and wearing a great silver diamond necklace? These bracelets, Pyaryo, you are attracting yourself to falsehood. Kud kaya, kud kapad, kud rup, kud rup apar. Kaya means body, and the kapade that we wear upon this body as well. You could have many, many different fashion trends. They change over time. All of that is false as well. Your body is false. It is created through these five elements. These five elements change even when this entire world completely is finished. It goes beyond time when Mahaparla happens and everything goes back in Sun Samad. Everything goes back and it goes into creation and out of creation. कई बार पसरे उपासार we read. That this creation has been created and destroyed many times. These elements have come into being and they've gone and gone into the formless many many times. Pyaryo, all of that, the fashion, this body is what well, yours. It is all false. It is an illusion because the reality is in this entire world only God is permeating. The things you're attaching yourself to, this is leading you to the false. Kud roop apar, many fashions, whatever you may be able to do. All these kapre that you uh, that you wear, even you may even cause yourself difficulty to wear certain clothes because it's good. It's a fashion trend. Pyaryo, baba or pendant khushi khwar jit paida tanu pidiye man mein chale vikar. What's the purpose of wearing all of that? Kud mia kud bibi kap hoe khar. Bibi means woman, meaning wife. Mia means husband. And just like this man and woman. they live in this household they do many things they enjoy the pleasures of their dinners they enjoy the pleasures of their house their children they live life they enjoy marriage but them when they just connect to false even that relation is false kap hoe kar eventually the husband and wife they have arguments with each other o kap jande ya they live their entire life they may fight it with each other they live in their home their home is false their relation is false they don't actually experience what true love is they're just experiencing mo men and women are also false and look at it when they die their body turns to ashes they waste their entire life away not connecting to truth they only connect to false kood mia kood bibi khap hoe khar kood kuda ne ho laga visreya kartar and then these people that are connecting to false the false itself is connecting to the false look the false mind the false false body connects to the false kood kooda ne ho lagga they love and fall in love with things that are also false they fall in love with the body they fall in love with emotions they fall in love with gold silver palaces but pyaryo visreya kartar when you fall in love with this you forget parmatma what is the point मत देख पूला भी सरा तेरा चितना आवे ना वट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ लुकिंग एट दैट वन आई फॉरगेट अकाल पुरख लुक वी रीडिंग गुरबाणी दात प्यारी विसरिया दात तारा यू फॉल इन लव विद द गिफ्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ फॉलोइंग इन लव विद द पर्सन दैट गेव यू द गिफ्ट अकाल पुरख ब्लेस इज यू विद ब्रेथ बट यू फॉल इन लव विद द बॉडी दैट इज ब्रीथिंग अकाल पुरख गिव ब्लेस इज यू विद वेल्थ बट यू फॉल इन लव विद द एम्प्लॉयर दैट इज गिविंग यू मनी अकाल पुरख ब्लेस इज यू विद फूड but you fall in love with the actual food itself you don't fall in love with the kalpur itself a kalpur gives you everything breath money whatever it be you fall in love with the gold the money dad pyari visriya da tara and sometimes the reality is we only even ask a kalpur for certain blessings only because we want the blessings not a kalpur vin to dhor je mangna sir dukha ke dukh deho naam santokh hi utre man ki bhukh he pyare ji can i ask for you only What is the point of indulging in all of this good, the business and whatever it may be you are trying to receive? Maybe it's the latest laptop or GoPro or maybe even the latest phone. But Pyaryo, we forget ish kitho aaya. K 
ਖੈਰ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਕਿਸ ਨਾਲ ਕੀ ਜੈ ਦੋਸਤੀ ਸਭ ਜਗ ਚ ਲਣਹਾਰ ਸੋ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਫਾਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਫਾਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਕਨੈਕਟਿੰਗ ਟੂ एवरीथिंग दैट इज इन इल्यूजन इज जस्ट फॉल्स देन हु कैन वी फॉल इन लव विद दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन बीइंग एस किस नाल की चाहे दोस्ती हु शुड वी बीफ्रेंड हु शुड वी मेक फ्रेंड्स विद हु शुड वी सोशलाइज हु शुड वी इंटरेक्ट विद देखो हर नावे नाल गल्ला हर नावे नाल मसलत लुक एट दैट प्यारे किस नाल की चाहे दोस्ती सब जग चलन हार everything in this world is going to go if we're going to become friends with something if we're going to talk with somebody if we're going to enjoy it with somebody har nawe naal galla look we speak with friends but no these pagats the pyare of akalpurk they speak with akalpurk they talk with naam that is their language that is what they fall in love with other than naam to the baaj kuro kur pyareo kis naal ki chai dosti sab jag ch lanar should i make friends with my employer should it be with my wife should it be with my kids should it be with the person that is giving me something person that praises me is it should it be the person that fights for my rights because the reality is sab jag ch lan har is sari srishti ithon chale jani hai because it changes the bricks will break the buildings whether it be the great castles they will fall maybe they're there for what a thousand years 2000 years 10000 years what a million years the world might be there for what 4 5 billion years even this earth will break down even the suns will break down all stars will be destroyed as well all of creation will go eventually if you place your hopes if you attach yourself to the false you will become the false if you attach yourself to truth and live in the will of the truth you become truth this question is asked in shri japji sahib kev sachiyara hui hai kev kooda tutta paal hukm rajai chalna nanak likhya naal attach yourself to this attach yourself to the paana the will of parmatma attach yourself to the naam of parmatma because when you live and remember the truth you remember the truth you contemplate it, you become the form of the truth when you contemplate the false you go away with the false as well so the kood attaches to the kood kood kooda ne ho lagga visarya kartar and they forget the true creator the true doer then but the reality of this world is this kood mitha kood makyo many things in this world seem very sweet maya mamta mohni jin vindan ta jag khaya look honey is very very sweet makyo that's what means honey honey tastes very tasty if you add sugar into anything everybody will love it tea tastes great but when you add sugar in it it tastes great even a smoothie somebody may not want it but if you add lots of sugar in it everybody will want that you take anything any fruit somebody may not want to eat it this is an example that we may, we may understand you dip it into chocolate now everybody loves the fruit if you dip it in syrup sugared syrup everybody loves that food now because everything tastes sweet the truth is this falsehood is just sour it's like bik dekhya sansar देखो एक चीज मुझे दे अवर चीज जहर ना पाया आई डोंट वांट एनीथिंग अदर देन यू आई एम आस्किंग फॉर दिस वन ब्लेसिंग दिस इज अ स्टेट ऑफ अ ब्रह्म ज्ञानी आई एम आस्किंग फॉर वन चीज एक चीज दिस वन आइटम दैट इज नाम वंस आई ऑब्टेन दैट अवर जहर चीज ना पाया दिस एंटायर वर्ल्ड इट सीम्स टू बी लाइक पॉइजन बट if i'm asking for something let me ask for that one true thing kood mitha kood makhyo kood dobe pur the reality is everybody attaches themselves this poison is dressed up and it's sugar coated everybody looks on the outside and they say wow that that looks very tasty looks very sweet so they chase after that they chase after lust anger wealth greed pride they chase after all of these things they indulge themselves in this they seems very sweet you indulge yourself the rolls royce looks great the great house looks great the money and the your great salary will look amazing these clothes look great the makeup that you put on your face that looks great but pyare all of this visarya kartar you attach yourself the goys gold and silver pyare even akalpurk is working through that but now it's become false because it's make made you forget akalpurk kood makhyo kood mitha kood makhyo kood dobe pur and pur pyareo is when a whole bunch of men they get on top of a raft or a boat 
And when that boat is traveling, all of the people that are on top of that boat, that is known as Poor, Papyario, when they attach to false, Kur, Dobe Poor, this falsehood is going to make them drown. It is like weight. It pulls the person down and it doesn't dissolve in water. No, it just goes to the drown bottom and it stays there. Just like that, the entire world is drowning in this world. Everybody is drowning in this world. That's why we do have to do this Bainti. Daya karo kich mero pavaro dubde patthar tare. He sache pacha. Have this mercy upon us. This is my Bainti. Nanak vakhane Bainti. This is my Bainti sache pacha. To bless us so we may attach to the truth. So we don't drown just like rocks drown in the ocean. So we can stay afloat. You have the ability to make even rocks float. So Satche Pacha, other than you, other everything is. So the Baj Kuro Pur Satche Pacha is saying this. This is my Bainti to the entire world. Don't connect to the false. Connect to the truth. Because other than you, everything is false. And now, Pyaryu, the question is asked. Then if everything is false, Rai Bular asks, then how do we become truthful? There must be something that's truthful. How do we understand that truth? How do we know those that have this truth? And here, Pyaryo, I want to share this one small sake. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Satche Pacha. During their time, there was a Gursikh whose name was Pai Joga Singh. And Pai Joga Singh, he was doing seva one night. And whilst doing seva, a whole bunch of people who had lots of jealousy and irka with him. They came to the langar hall. They came outside the langar hall that night and they beat him with sticks and stones. They beat him and beat him and beat him. They beat him so much that they thought that they had killed him. When they took the body of Joga Singh, they left it there, they pushed it to the side and they made this decision amongst themselves that in the morning we'll just make a whole bunch of noise and say, Oh my God, somebody came and beat up Joga saying we have to figure out who it is. So they made these plans. When the morning came, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, every single day they used to go and they used to walk through the area. They used to walk through the langar. And that day they're saying, where is Joga Singh? I don't see Joga Singh doing seva here today. And somebody told them that we found Joga Singh's body beat up. Somebody killed him and they threw him outside. But Joga Singh is still healing. He's in that room. Guru Gobind Singh Ji goes to the room. And when Guru Gobind Singh Ji looks at their beloved Gursikh, Joga Singh, they say, Hey, Mere Gursikh, who did this to you? What's happened here? Many people are asking, how did this happen? You must remember. Who, who did this? And Joga Singh look at their love. They put their hands together. And with tears coming out of their eyes, they say, Hey, Mayre Kalgi Tarpacha. I was beaten by my own karmas. I was beaten by my own sins. I have been beaten. And these Jamduts came and they beat me. But Sajjay Pacha, look at your blessings. You have saved me. With your hand on top of my head, even these Jamduts couldn't kill me. And there, he's in this love, he's experiencing this love. So he's not wanting to say anything. He's just experiencing that love. And when these Gursikhs ask, they say, Hey, said Guru Gobind Singh Ji, why is Joga Singh not saying who killed him or who is tried to kill him? Who attempted to beat them up and put him in this state? Why is he not putting it on, on, onto, onto his tongue? And Guru Gobind Singh Ji says, that, Let me explain this to you. There's something about love, there's something about matas that when even there's so much love that no matter what kur there is, no matter what type of falsehood it is, it can't mix with that truth. Falsehood never mixes with the truth and let me explain this to you. Because if he puts it out to them, based on his own actions, they're going to go and he believes the truth that the Guru is Samrat, guru, the Guru knows who did this to him, the Guru will take care of it. So Pyaru, what is the point of doing the, that Nindya? He wants to take, keep his mind in the state of love. So Guru Gobind Singh Ji is saying, let me explain to you how falsehood never mixes with the truth. 
the falsehood always goes away and the truth will always prevail koorne kutte nanaka odak sach rahi the truth always prevails that's why why does he need to worry about this guru gobind singh ji says bring me three pots i want you to fill them with water and in each of them i want you to put a different item in the first one i want you to put patase sugar puffs i want you to put sugar in the first one the second one i want you to put a clump of dirt a clump of mitti and when that clump of dirt is put in the second one i want you to put the a rock a solid hard rock in the third one and i want you to cover them up and i want you to leave them for some time some time passes guru gobind singh ji says lift up the lids of these pots everybody it's looked into the pots the very first one where the sugar puffs were put in mixed into that water and you couldn't even tell whether there was sugar puffs in it or not they had become the form the sweetness had become form the form of the water and then we look at the dirt the dirt clump it had dissolved tal gayi si but it had not let go of its true form it was still dirt some dirt had gone to the bottom of the water and the rest had mixed into the water and it made the water dirty as well so it just looked like mud and filth and then we looked at the rock and the rock was the way it was put in it did not dissolve it did not let go of its pride its ego it stayed the way it is and guru gobind singh ji explains that look some people that are come to the guru's house and they are come with such sweetness their sweetness allows them jadon when their heart is so pure their heart is so truthful just like joga singh their heart is so pure that when they come to the guru they become the form of the guru and some they come they pretend to dissolve into the sangat they pretend to take the form of the sangat but pyaryo they do not let go of their true form they are still filth they may act like it on the outside but on the inside halevi mitti are they still filthy and the third some come to the guru's house they do not even want to fall at the feet of the guru instead they challenge the guru they stay stubborn like that rock and they just drown like that that is the state of some people coming to the gurudwara some people coming this to the path of sikhi path of spirituality path of the guru pyaryo we want to be like that mithas the truth is if somebody's heart is truthful if somebody is truly the form of such inside of them they come with such sweetness and such nimrata they become the form of that guru themselves so how can somebody be truthful kyu sajara koi hai kyu kura tutta paal how can somebody break that veil of falsehood in guru nanak dev ji explains here they say mahalla pehla sach ta par jaani hai ja hriday sacha hoye how do you know when their heart is truly truthful kurne kutte nanaka odak sach rahi the truth will always prevail the falsehood will always go away when somebody is truthful on the inside they walk towards the guru the guru merges them within themselves how do you know somebody is truthful sach ta par jaani hai how do you know something is true when their heart is truly filled with truth through the guru's blessings first somebody must do seva to make their heart truthful this mal is gone away kood ki mal utre then the question is how do you take away this kood then how do you take away this mal if you want their heart to truly be truthful tan kare hacha toe pyare when this truth is found this mind is first filled with filth these bodies these indriya body parts they do many false actions the tongue speaks false when the mind is false the eyes no matter how much you try you say i don't want to look at something lustful i don't want to look at praya tan i don't want to look at pornography or a praya istri or a praya mard somebody else's wife or somebody else's husband i don't want to look at that but what eventually what happens you convince your mind no 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 but your mind is there there's still so much filth so you end up looking anyways you can't control just by controlling the eyes you can't control your indri you have to control the mind you have to get rid of the filth inside of your mind so when somebody is going and connecting to the truth and their hirda and your mind is completely lost of this filth then tan kare acha toe those eyes the hands the feet they automatically become clean they become immaculate they become pure kood ki mal utre when the mal of the mind goes away then the hands they don't steal anymore they don't do 
any negative acts and the tongue doesn't speak any falsehood, it doesn't tell any lies anymore. But this is speaking about something else. Vikho. When Gangu, he read it out to Wazir Khan and he said that this is where the Sabja they are. Even though he was telling the truth where the Sabja they are. The Sabja they are in my house. That was a true words of his. But inside of his mind it was filth. Even by him speaking the, the true words which he explained to be truth. Even those words that were true, they became false. Because his mind and heart were just filled with false. Every action that somebody does that's false, it becomes false as well. Pyaru mal must go as well. When somebody is truthful, even their actions become and their body parts, they become truthful as well. How do you know somebody has become truthful? How do you become truthful? When somebody's heart and mind is filled with the love of the, of the truth, the love of the Nam, the love of the true Guru, not the love for the false. They detach from the world and connect to the truth. Now, once you are filled with love, then you listen to the Guru's Nam. Now, Rahasiya means fully going into that bliss. You are enshrined in that love. Now, this is how you get rid of that mal. You get rid of it through the rang, the experience being drenched in the love of a Kalpurk, the color of love. That is how. And only these are true warriors that can fight this filth. This true color of love is not like a dog of other, of other colors. The colors of the world, they leave a stain, but this stain of truth, this stain of Nam, the color of love, once it stains you, it never goes away. All other colors fade. So, Pyare in this world, Jago Hararang Lago is Jagume, Sokahiata Sura, that person that is drenched in the love, they are a true warrior that can fight against all this falsehood. Pyare, fighting against everything else in the world is easy, fighting against this is hard. But Piyari, somebody must walk the path and shine that truth inside of their heart. And then when they listen to this Naam and it's going inside of their heart, all falsehood is dispelled. Tam paay mokh dwar. Through this Naam, they can attain mukti. They attain that dwar, that door of salvation through the Guru, through this Naam of the Guru. And that mukti is what truly makes somebody true. Satchita par jani hai. Jain jogat jani hai jiyo. The path to truth. How do you know somebody has attained truth? How does somebody attain truth? It is that Jukta Jana Jiyo through the Guru, you have to know the way. Jukta Jana Jiyo. Biko. The Jukti, the way, must be known, and the, this way is taught through the Guru. Jana Jiyo of how you are separate than a Kalpurk, how you are separate in this world, and you must remove this falsehood, and you, you must go and become one with Ishwar. So here, so what is the way? What is the jukti that the Guru is trying to teach us? Your body is like a field. It's like tarti, dirt. You must plow this field. You must take care of it. You must get first get rid of all the weeds, all the stones, all the insects that might affect your crops. Once you get rid of all of these things, the three things you want to avoid, you want to avoid insects, little critters that go and eat the seeds. You want to go and you avoid rocks, that stubbornness. And you want to go and avoid, you want to avoid certain vines and certain weeds which go and entangle these seeds and these newborn sprouts, which entangle them in these worldly desires. Avoid these three things, avoid the ignorance, Pyario. And you, when you plant this seed, that seed will grow and it will give you the fruits and the desires, the dras of this love of a Kalpurk. This body you must sadhka. What this means is maryada. Maryada is something physical in which you do upon your body. Which you apna. You're not going to drink alcohol. You're not going to do certain things and say certain things with your tongue. You're not going to listen to certain things. You're not going to see certain things. You're going to read certain things such as Gurbani and Nitanim. You're going to dress a certain way. You're going to associate your body with certain people. 
and not associate with certain people. Piyaro, this is maryada. This is why we read Gurbani. This is why we follow Guru Gobind Singh Ji's rath. Tar takaya saad kaya vich dey karta biyo. When you follow the path of the Guru, Guru Sahib Satya Pacha plants the seed of Naam inside your life and that seed grows and is watered. The sign of the Guru's blessings, the sun of the Guru's blessings is shining upon it. And the Guru is blessing the Amrath and Naam, the Amrath to that seed so it can drink that water. And it grows. The soil, the right type of tarti is there. Tart kaya saad kaya vich dey karta biyo. Then Satya Pacha explains, only that person attains truth. The truth is found when they attain true teachings from the true Guru. When you obtain teachings of the truth, then what happens? You obtain daya. True teachings come, truthfulness comes inside of your mind and heart, and daya comes out. Daya is compassion. When somebody is fully content, they don't desire anything. Meaning they've become into a state of fulfillment. They attain Paramatma, Daya Jana, then they know. When they attain the true teachings, they know that the world is false. They detach from the world, they connect to Naam. They're filled with the Rang. They don't need anything else in this world anymore. Then they attain Daya. Because now they want to go and give. Daya Jana Ji Ki. Kich Pun Daan Kare. Then they go. And they go and give out. Just like somebody is fulfilled with wealth and money, they feel that they have an excess. So they want to, they are content within themselves, so they go and give to somebody else. But Piyaru, when somebody is filled with this ras and with this truth, Piyaru, the truth is, they feel bad for everybody that is living in falsehood. So what they want to do is when they want to go and kuch purandan kari, they actually want to go and spread this message of this naam. They want to spread the message of this truth. They want to message, spread that message of the true sikha. Sikh satile. They want to go and do that punadana of spreading the word of Paramatma. Pyaryo Jannanak Tudu Mangai. This Gur Sikh ki jo aap chabai avarai naam jabai. This is how Guru Nanak Dev Ji is saying that Gur Sikh is blessed who wants to go and do that punadana who has attained it themselves and that they also want to spread it out and give that paru, do that aparupkar, that blessing upon the entire world where they can also connect to the truth. There's no better blessings, there's no better donation that you can give to the world other than Guru's Naam as well. So, Pyaryo, Satchitaam par jani hai, ja atam tirat kare nawaz, that truth is attained when atam tirat kare nawaz, when somebody attains their, realizes that they are the form of Paramatma. Atma, Paramatma. Atma, tirat. Many people go out into pilgrimages into this world. Pyaryo, but once somebody goes into the pilgrimage of their true self, to their true form of their Atma, meaning into the state of Akalapurk, when they reside in their true state of Akalapurk, the mind, the body, the Sul, Astul, Sukshim, Sariz are completely moved to one side. All falsehood, all good is dispelled everywhere is just seeing Brahm and they feel and they're experiencing that form of Ananda as well then Atam Tirath Kare Nevas they go and they go to that pilgrimage and they sit there and they experience the Ananda of that pilgrimage they reside constantly in their Atma they don't reside in their Indriya because if somebody resides in their eyes or their hands or somebody resides even in their sexual organ then they are connecting constantly to falsehood. If somebody is living in their body, then they are connecting to material wealth. Somebody living in their mind, they may be connecting to different spiritual powers. Somebody may be connecting to pride. Somebody may be connecting to just the sense of knowledge. But when somebody connects to their Atma, that's when all of this falsehood is dispelled and they become the form of truth. They reside constantly living in this world. That's now how somebody is attaining that truth. Satguru no pochke, behre kare nawas. And this tirith is attained how? When you ask the Guru, the Guru teaches you. And through these blessings, behre kare nawas, you constantly sit and you reside in that form of the Atma. Behre kare nawas. Such sabna hoye daru. The reality is this many people are living in diseases. The truth is the Daru, the Dawai of everything. The disease of Homme, the disease of all of this illusion, this falsehood. Such Savana Hoye Daru. Paap Kadatoi, it removes all of the Paps, the truth removes all Paps in this world. All sins, all actions you may be doing in falsehood, 
नानक वखाने बेनती जिन सच पल्ले होए प्यारे हो दोस पीपल और अटेनिंग ट्रूथ दोस पीपल दैट जिन्हें दे पल्ले सच आ जान्दा दे ट्रूथ इज़ नाउ रिजाइडिंग इन देर लाफ्स मीनिंग दे ग्रैब ऑन टू द पल्ला द रोब द हेम ऑफ ट्रूथ एंड दे रिज पर इट इनसाइड ऑफ देर हार्ट दे हग इट टाइट प्यारे हो दे रों दे पुट ऑल अदर थिंग्स ट� all other robes that they were attaching to first, they see that, nay, I've, resi- I've renounced this. I attach myself only to the true robe. Habbe sa kudave dite to palla tende lagi. Everything else is false. I've attached myself to the truth now. So, pyareo, nanav khane bhenati, jin sach palla hoi, and now Guru Nanak Ji explains in this body. Pyareo, to attain this truth, these people are truth. Many people are attaching to the false. But sankhe parupavich, pyareo, we must go and do seva. We must follow the feet of those sadhus, Pyaryo. Many people even ask. They do this tark. They say, what is the point of sadhu and the What is the point of dust? That is meaningless. No, Pyaryo. Tarti is the most powerful thing. Dust is the most powerful thing in this world. Look, dirt, tarti. We even call it the mother. We call it mother nature. We call ma tarti. We even call this earth, land, mother. Because look, it gives birth to us. It gives birth to plants and seeds. They grow. They gives fruit. It gives birth to everything. And then everything, once it dies off, it brings everything back into itself. Water and tarti, they contain lots and lots of energy. Tarti is holding that turi. But it doesn't only just mean that. It only means the nimrata. It also means the nimrata and the bakshish of these sadhus as well. So Satya Pach is explaining Dhanam Hinda Tali Khak off of the feet of those sadhus that are connecting to the truth, that have found the truth, that are living in this Atma Tirat Kare Nivas. They are constantly living in that. What do I want? I want the dust of their feet. And what do I want to do? I want to take it physically and put it onto my matha. And I also want to take the dust of their feet. The blessings that they are going to give me, and I also want to take those blessings and enshrine them inside of my heart. Dhanam Hinda, Tali Khak, give me this blessing, give me this donation. This is what I ask for, not for anything false in the world. Je mila, if I receive it, ta mastak laiya, I put it to my forehead. Kuda lala chadiya, hoi ek man Allah katre aiya. Renounce all falsehood, everything that is an illusion, everything that is just kood dust. What? Kood? Satya Pacha explained in that entire slok. They say, Kood Raja, Kood Parja. The entire slok is explaining to us that this Kooda Lalit Shadi hai. Let go of all of that. Hoi ikman alak te aiya. And then, Tia ta tar birti tar ke. By taking on this intellect, this birti of your mind, where ikman is just focusing on truth. Nothing else, no duality, no sankalp, vikalp is able to come. Your mind is just focusing on that one contemplation day and night. Ik man alak tiyaya. Focus on and contemplate that alak which is beyond. Jidi ginti ni ki hoki ti jasak di pyaryo. One that is in many, many forms. One that can't be described. Hor kathna karada saar. It's very difficult to describe that. Describe and praise that wondrous one. And the truth is, the type of seeds that we plant, just like we read here. We want to do, have daya do good things. Those people attain truth. We want to plant the seeds. And the truth is such explaining here again. Those, the type of actions that we do, the seeds that we plant, that's the type of fruit that we're going to get. If we plant poison, Pyaryo, we're going to get poison. We're going to get bik. But if we plant truth, then we are going to get truth. You want to implement truthful. You want to implement naam inside of your life. Falate ve ho paiye. Je vehi kar kamaiye. Sajje pacha. We describe in Gurbani as well. Jaisa bhi jais solone. Karma khandada khet. Pyaryo, you, the type of seeds you plant, that is the fruit you get. And based on this, Actions that you've done, Pyaryo, the destiny that you have based on past actions, based on this life, the sins and the porn that you've done, Jehovah Purab Likya Tan Turtinadi Paya. You obtain the dust of such sadhus that are the form of truth. You obtain the Sangat of such sadhus that are the form of truth. 
Pyaryo. If we have these blessings, the Guru Sahib and can write on top of our matha. If we have this lake that we've done good things, so Pyaryo, always ask and in your ardas, ask for the Sangat of Gursiks. Ask for the Sangat of Sadhus that are connecting and living that truth so you can go into their Sangat and become the form of truth as well. Just like if you go with such mitha, such sweetness, go into the Sangat of the Guru, if you ask for that dust of the Gursiks that are also sitting in that Sangat, because even look, Guru Nanak Dev Ji is asking for it. Those Gursiks that are living truth, spreading truth, even Satya Pacha is asking for that dust. Those that wake up early in the morning, throughout the entire day, they're reciting Gurbani, reading Gurbani. Pyaryo Satya Pacha is asking for their dust. If we receive it, let's put it onto the Matha. Let's bow down. Namaskar to that. Pyaryo only je change paag han. Ta tood te na di paaye. Receive that tudi. We receive the dust of their feet. We fall at their feet. And we receive their Sangat only then. But Pyaryo, the truth is, Many of us, we attach ourselves to false with our low intellect. We think that our intellect is great. We are a king, we are this and that. But our intellect is very, very low. My intellect is very low. It's absolutely nothing. When we think that our intellect is very, very big, we even lose the opportunity to do seva. We say, what is the point? I don't want to, uh, why would I, I think I'm so good and why would I fall at the feet of a sadhu? Why would I accept your sayings? Because I am something. Why should I listen to you? We even say that this person is younger than me. Why should I listen to them? This person is the same age as me. I grew up with this person. Why should I listen to them? You lose your opportunity to do seva. In my life, I've seen this physically while doing Sangat of great Mahapurks. I've seen some people come into the Sangat, have great opportunities. But then they are not able to actually accept the bachans. The sadhu says this, do this, I need you to read your Nitanim, I need you to read Gurbani, I need you to go to the Guru's Sangat, and I want you to clean the Jodi. But the person says, why should I do that? I'm strong, I'm, I can think for myself. Sometimes even, we do lots and lots of seva. You may do kirtan, you may be doing kirtan of this Shri Asa Jidhi Var. You may be going and doing seva, doing jodi on the seva. But as soon as you walk out, if you do 10 times the amount of nindya, you do the 10 times the amount of egotistical actions, you slander, you go and cheat. With your own low intellect, your little ignorance, Save Gawaiya, you've lost that Papyaryo. This is the Artha majority of Vidwans have done. But even some Pardaik Vidwan Nane Sandhagani Guru Bachan Singh, they've done this beautiful Artha. Even Pai Veer Singh writes about this as well. They say, look at if this other way of doing this Artha. Mat Thodi, with, if you have such an intellect like this, where you don't go and you are connecting to a Kalapurk, where you're all constantly connecting to this falsehood, how do you attain this truth? When you do seva, you lose all of that. When you do seva, you lose all of that thodi mat. You lose that ignorance. You lose that falsehood as well. So if you have thodi mat, you have low intellect, do seva of the Guru. Do seva of these sadhus. Do seva of those. Don't connect to the false. Once you do that seva, you will fall at their feet. And based on this, all of your pops will go. We even read in Gurbani, Hamri Mel Turi Khak Gawaya. That with the sadhus, we fall at the feet. Pero such, such times come when we want to do seva. And seva we don't do with our Thodi Mat, but if we do seva with the true intellect of our Guru and fall at the feet of the sadhus and their teachings, we accept what they say, even that we learn how to do that seva. I didn't know how to do seva of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. I didn't know how to do seva of certain sadhus. Kaivari sadhu on the Sangat Vijake Kaivari. You have to actually do Mutti Chappi. You have to massage their legs. You have to put tail on their head. You have to massage their head of sadhus, of elder Gursiks. There's nothing wrong with that because you're doing seva of fellow Gursiks. Pero you will learn nim nimrata to do this, but sometimes we don't even know how to actually do seva of somebody. We don't actually know how, if Sangat comes, how do we treat Sangat when they come over to our house? How do we serve them water? How do we feed them water? How do we, you know, how do we make the food that we're serving them? 
Pero a lot of these things with our thori mat, we don't know how to do seva either. Pero if we want to truly do seva, we want to fall at the feet of these guru six. Pero guru sikha ki har tur de ham papi pi ham papi pi gat pahe. We are just sinners like myself. I'm a sinner. Even my life, Pyaro Ji, man, the son, the truth is Gursikhan, these Sangat Milke, only with the Sangat of these great Gursikhs and Mahapurks, these people that are living this truth, Pyaro is Sikhya Miliya. Pyaro, if we get the chance, take the dust of this feet and again and again put it on top of a Matha. If even that dust is blessed, that dust is blessed that goes onto our Matha and makes that Naam enshrine inside of our heart. Pyaro, so this is what Guru Nanak Dev Ji is saying renounce the falsehood. Connect to the truth and connect to the dust of those people that are living that truth. This is how you obtain the true dolat of this entire creation. The Sachi Pacha is saying that Jannanako Harabakshya Harapak Dhamadara, the Guru will fill you with those blessings as well. So, Sari Sangat, in Niyam Bintiyam Bravan Karniya, while talking, while speaking, I've made many, many mistakes. Sari Sangat, Gajavaji Ki Fateh Bilao, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.